Good morning, folks. Welcome to an OCC Queensland weather app today, the 21st of November 2022. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by our major sponsor, TownsvilleSheds.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe accredited shed, and they can deliver one right through Queensland. Folks, this morning we've got lots of showers and storms across the Gulf Country. They're starting to die off. We've also had some showers and storms across northwest Queensland. They're also starting to die off. We can see a little bit of high cloud with some very, very light patchy rain. You'd be lucky to notice it if it gets over the top of you. And this morning we're also seeing some squally thunderstorms up around the tip of the tip and through the Torres Strait. Okay, so through the day today, we're expecting to see isolated showers and thunderstorms across central Queensland, becoming a little bit more scattered as we push up towards north Queensland. Chance of some redevelopment of some isolated convection through the Gulf Country as well. You can see 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m. Some moderate to heavy falls with some of these showers and thunderstorms because they are gonna be slow moving, particularly as we move up into north Queensland. Very slow moving, very heavy rain coming out of them. Further southwards, they are going to be moving and there is a small element of severe weather threat potential with some of the storms close to the coast through central Queensland just because they do have a little bit more dynamic steering associated with those cells. Severe weather threat this afternoon suggests that yeah there could be some isolated but stronger thunderstorms across that central Queensland region Mackay southwards. Through the nighttime hours, there's a small chance of some storm activity, but more than likely we're seeing decaying cells. We've got a big southerly surge coming up the coastline, charging up the coastline through central and southern Queensland uh, overnight tonight, early tomorrow. So that will uh, put an end to any of the storm potential across that region. Early tomorrow morning, we could see some isolated convection close to the coastline around north Queensland and through the northern interior and potentially through the Gulf again. As we progress through tomorrow, we can see that, that uh, all of that sort of significant convection is expected to remain offshore tomorrow across central Queensland. Just some isolated showers and storms in far north Queensland tomorrow, so a nice little quiet day weather-wise. In terms of our winds, strong gusty southwesterlies will begin to dominate across much of southern Queensland and southerlies will dominate much of northern inland Queensland today. Drier air mass, which will probably increase fire dangers across large sections of the state as well. And don't forget we've got this big southerly surge charging up the coastline overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. And as we get that southerly surge coming through, expect to see really strong winds. Those moderate to fresh northerlies are going to shift very quickly and become strong southerlies to southwesterlies across uh, southern and central Queensland all the way up to about the Mackay with Sundays by around about lunchtime tomorrow. If you're not prepared for that you're going to be in a bit of strife. Warm and dry across central western Queensland, uh, warm and moist across the coastline areas and then hot and moist across parts of the Cape York Peninsula region. That about does us for today. We go into a ton more detail about those storms today and the longer term projections which are starting to look interesting at join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. Head over there, check out our subscription options and if you'd like to support us, join us and get access to all those much more in-depth updates. Have a great day.